All right, I am very excited for this weekend because we will be kicking off the 2021 racing season at the Muddy Waters GP. I am currently at my storage unit to get my bike all loaded up. Um, I'm going back to my parents' house in Iowa this weekend because it's just a shorter drive to the track. So I'm going to be getting everything loaded up and spend the weekend in Iowa and then get everything ready for the race here on Sunday. That was harder than it needed to be. I think we're all loaded up, ready for the weekend. So I just realized I completely forgot to wash my bike. So we still have a bunch of Fox Valley off-road mud on this thing. So going to give it a quick wash and get it all polished up for the race tomorrow. This thing always sucks to turn on. God, okay, this might not work. Oh, hey, there we go. Dang it. There we go. Now that uh, the bike's all washed up and looking good, there's one final thing that I want to do. So by the time I upload this video, you guys will already know the results of this. However, everyone's aware of the new AMA GoPro rule. So I haven't been able to test this out, but I'm going to do a couple of laps around my yard to just try and uh, dial this thing in to get as usable footage as possible. All right, guys, so I'm looking through this footage right now, and to be honest, I'm not too mad about it. Originally, when I heard about this ruling, I was pretty upset, and I figured that the chest mount footage would be pretty awful, but looking at this, it, it looks somewhat similar to what a chin mount would look like. That is, at least when I'm sitting, so when I was riding around my yard here, I tried opening it up a little bit, I tried sitting and standing. And we'll see once I start standing here in right now, it's basically just looking straight down at the handlebars. So whenever I stand, the footage is not going to be great. But whenever I'm sitting, which I'm sitting most of the time during races, although I probably should be standing a little bit more, but regardless, I'm sitting most of the time during the races and this footage doesn't look horrible so I think tomorrow we should be getting some usable footage which is a relief but with that said have a few more things to do and get ready tonight and I will see you tomorrow for race day
It's about 6.10 in the morning. I am freaking tired. It's been forever since I woke up this early, but it's race day. So we have about an hour and a half drive to Muddy Waters, and then we're gonna go get signed up and get ready for practice, which starts at around nine. So just a few more hours and we will officially be riding and racing. There goes Nick. Just got to the track and got all signed up for the 12 to 29 C class. Just checking things out here, but man, this track is beautiful. One thing I was a little nervous about was the triple here, but it looks like we're being routed around it. So I guess something to not even worry about, but this track's looking really fun. So I'm really looking forward to this. So I'll have my GoPro running for practice. Uh, and let's go take a look at the full track here. Alrighty, so let's take a lap around the April 2021 Muddy Waters GP course. So, again, we're using the chest mount, unfortunately, and for practice, I did not wear my chest protector, which... I'm finding that I absolutely need to wear my chest protector for this mount because you can see it's pretty shaky. But aside from that, let's go through the course here. So we start out on the motocross track on the start there. Then we quickly come to this uh, grass track section which has these tricky side hills. So uh, we're at a somewhat steep slope right here which made this section pretty tricky and then we come out to this 180 degree turn and then we come back to again another sloped grass track section which goes into the woods. Now the two times that I've raced here, uh, the wood sections, they're somewhat short. There were a lot more wood sections today than there were in the 2019 GP that I did, uh, but they're very fast. They flow very well, but as the day goes on, these sections really break down and get rutted, so you can expect some roots to kick you around a little bit. But we're already finished with the first wood section, then we come out to a tabletop jump and then um, a quick turn on the motocross track. And then this is just a little bit of a kicker jump, a single, we come up and then we make a turn here to a different section of the motocross track that takes us to the second wood section. Again, this section is very short. Um, it's just the entrance here, a, a, basically a straight line and then a slight uphill. And this section right here was where it got really rooty, kicked you around. There were a few people in my race that um, ended up getting stuck there and bottlenecked things around. And I actually ended up getting stuck there at the end of the first moto. Speaking of which, I'll put a link to the race videos on the screen right now. So if you haven't watched those, you can go take a look. I uploaded those videos a few weeks after this race took place. Obviously, I'm uploading this about a year after the race took place. But now back to the lap around the track here. As I said earlier in this video, I was a little nervous about going over the triple jump they have here, but luckily we were routed around it, and then after getting routed around that jump, we uh, turned on the track, went over the floater jump, and then came back to this third wood section. So there were three total wood sections for this track, this one, the third being the longest. So as you can see, it's some tight single track, um, nothing 
too crazy or out, out of the ordinary, but um, right now the track was tame because these were our first laps on it. Uh, as the day went on, so towards the end of Moto2, this was all rutted, rooty, and a bunch of braking bumps, and it, it really beats you up. But um, right now, track's pretty tame, nothing too out of the ordinary. So we come out of the woods into this mulch pile that transitions us to the 50cc motocross track. So on this track, nothing too crazy, just some turns that uh, got rutted up and you can really rail if you're fast enough, as well as a couple of small jumps. So we make this tight turn, which transitions us from the 50cc motocross track onto the main motocross track, which is the last section before we complete this lap. So now we're on the main track and we go up this small incline, which you can get some air time if you go up fast enough and then we have this small kicker single in the middle of this section and then uh, we make this turn onto a flat section and then we make this final turn before the tabletop over the finish line so that's one lap at this track i think it's time that we cue the edit Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Honestly, pretty rough. I'm pretty sure the result is not very good. We're leaving before they posted the results. I uh, didn't want to wait around, but I did have fun. It was fun to get on the bike and ride, but um, overall, not very happy with how I rode. But there's definitely an improvement to be made this year, but um, I guess we have a long road ahead. So we're going to get out of here, get back home. I found a homeless person who was asking her for a ride home. So I'm um, going to do my good deed for the day and uh, give this homeless person a ride home. But until next time, see you later.